Kia ora. In this video we're going to look at how to use Excel to make um, graphs. Um, once you've got your done your calculations from the data you collected down in Tongariro, um, input the data into a spreadsheet like Excel. Um, dead simple. Um, the green data here is for velocity, all right, and the blue data is for your volume or your discharge of the river. As you can see, this, these pieces of information are in, in meters per second, and these pieces of information are in meters cubed. All right, so this is velocity data, this is volume data. All right, um, what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the information east and west and the two numbers. Don't bother about putting that in because um, I've only put that there for your purpose. Highlight that information and then go to insert and then choose a suitable graph. Um, for this I'd recommend a, a dead simple bar graph. All right, And you can choose a whole variety of graphs there. I'm going to choose a dead simple one. And hey presto you've got a graph. However you're a geographer, you need to make sure that the graph has conventions, so you can now go about doing that. First of all, give your graph a suitable title. Uh, so this is for velocity. Um, graph two sites. Graph showing the river velocity at the two sites. Um, and it's got a title. Um, you can also, though, you're missing labels off your axes. So to get that, go to the graph. And there should be a little pop-up that comes up here, which isn't actually working, which is rather frustrating. There we go. There's a little plus comes up, chart elements. As you can see, axes titles is unticked. I tick that. Uh, there's a number of other things you might want to put on here, but I'm just going to show you how to put uh, axes titles on. Up the side here, you need to put the units of measurement, okay? So that is velocity in meters per second, all right? These are your data collection sites, all right? Um, if you want to change the color of the graph, um, click on the bar that you want to change, or and then right click, go to fill, and you can change. Um, to any color that you see fit. And now you've got a nice bar graph of that information. This can then be copied and pasted into your um, river study presentation. Um, the one that I've just shown you how to make is a combination of, of both uh, river sites. So you, that would get put in down here for velocity. Notice that I've got single bar graphs for both the west side and the east side here. For um, if I zoom in, you can you can see. Oh, crikey, not that much. Though. Um, let's go a little bit more. You might just be able to see. You've got um, you've got the velocity here, and you've got the discharge there. So that shows you how to make graphs using Excel.